story based like our next game which we are doing is a story based game multiplayer no multiplayer uh, we're not going to talk about it right now but that is a story based game some of the games like heavy rain uncharted bioshock these are so you always have connection even if i sit and start talking about uncharted i'm talking about the story how it got unfolded how different you know characters come into the pictures heavy rain still you know i still talk about it it's been like what 3 4 years it was released i still talk about this game because there is huge connection when there is a story and there is an interactive story it's all the more you know uh, connected for us then of course embrace the digital medium you know retail i'm not advocating uh, that you should have the disc based games but there are awesome you know uh, digital mediums available now where with just a little bit of uh, steam the entire hint was given by vinny already almost the same is there with psn and xbla you should have a good prototype you should have a good story behind it just push it team size and yes we can do it kind of you know this thing that we are good funded we have all the capabilities and just push the content and it uh, they'll pretty much agree and uh, we have released on psn and the same game is coming on xbla and steam so we know pretty much how it uh, works so it's so this is again you know something what anybody here can do you know they can just go for it and then again investor problem is there skill resources we always go for like if we want an evolved game design it's very difficult because we are the first generation gamers in india right now you know primarily uh, because i don't know how many you know of your parents were playing games and stuff so the thing is that once you see once you play a lot of games once you read a lot of books observe everything from the gaming uh, point of view then you can easily become probably a good game designer kind of or a level designer kind of guy that is of course there are a lot of other things which are involved there so generally western market is already very you know they had been doing it for quite some time now so we need those kind of resources here in india uh, we face but i'm sure the in another 3 4 times 3 uh, 4 years it should be fine because there'll be people who because there are a lot of people who are interacting with the westerners they are understanding a lot of things playing a lot of games now economy is you know allowing us to buy a lot of games now so then we are like culturally distant from game this uh, this point i keep highlighting on pretty much every forum that uh, western cultures and the global game you know we need to understand certain aspects of there you know that uh, the game you know we were doing was it was father son story where son dies and father takes the revenge westerners said that it's, it should be opposite you know it doesn't work so it should be that you know father should die and the son should take this thing so there can be lot of other things uh, there then what design this this is again the designer you know that we don't respect the designers most of the times because again you know we come from a fixed software kind of background there is still there are some institute which are trying to teach uh uh game design and stuff like that here in india but uh i i still don't see you know it's it will be absolutely there uh the quality level and other things so the thing is that uh we still struggle with the game design part if, if you know done and we still try to find the reason why a game designer should exist he should create the story and just go away whereas the game designer should be there from the start to the end of the game you know so let's compare that's where the you know argument starts with the highest selling hardcore game right we know, all know world of warcraft with 10 billion highest selling casual game i selling i didn't say downloaded we sport rovio posted a profit of 106.3 million dollar you know and Modern Warfare 3 reached 1 billion in 16 days a game which was done with 80 million dollars still the compare you know uh, this thing now some question name top 5 of your favorite games you know okay that's a hardcore ah well it good okay one one casual so do whatever exercise when the, the when your to top 5 games come they are generally coming from that so actually we all love those and we definitely like to you know make those games so recall a moment in one of your favorite casual games i can recall millions of moments in my games 
what I've played. But like in farm will I got my first seed, you know, first seed packet or something. Do I like I, I can't recall any moment, you know, any moment in those casual games. Then maximum time you played in the group, what? Counter strike or angry bird? You know, or compare with any there, you know. Uh, or you replace Counter Strike with COD if you play COD, with TF2 if you play TF2. TF2. So, the point what I'm trying to make is that we all actually love this. We all have the capability of doing this. We all have tried to do this. And we somehow stopped believing that there is a market and there is an audience for these games also. There is, of course, there are millions of people playing Angry Bird, millions. But still, those guys are going nowhere. I play Angry Bird. I, I have played Cut the Ropes. I have played what? Temple Run, a lot, you know. But I still love. I'm the first one to pre-order uh, when the next game is coming, and I don't sleep at least until the time I don't finish my uh, single-player mode at least, you know, and then. The multiplayer. This is another, you know, uh, this thing, you know, comparison. People who are actually playing games, 70% of the time they are playing on the console, 65% on their PC, laptop, 38% smartphone, 35% dedicated handheld, it's PPS, Vita, Nintendo, and 26% on iPad. These are very recent June uh, figure. So I love this. And so this is 4% market share of casual game now in terms of sales. And this is the huge, large action, sports, strategy, role playing. And shooter is now with, of course, this is a big category, you know, covers a lot of things here. So that's why it's big. But shooter in itself is big, you know, 33.7. And then the other games, all sort of you know, different stuff. So bottom line is, what I already said is that if you want to do casual game because you like it and you have an idea which can click, just do it. Uh, but if you have an idea for a big game and you think you should do it, just do it. Don't get scared. There are mediums. There are ways through which you can actually sell it. There are uh, people who will definitely buy it. And there are like you know 360 degree things which will work in your favor, which I already. I am sorry, Chetan Bhagat Zingar of you, and I, there was Justin Bieber also, but I'm not sorry. Or just where he doesn't deserve you know, my apologies here. So that's it from my side. Anybody wants to ask any question, you can ask. Thank you. Yes, please. Sure. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, what do you think would be the cost that will be after the game development in terms of promotion, marketing, and then? Post uh, release to the market. To I mean, I'm, I'm assuming that uh, developing a good game is not sufficient. You need to do a lot of things Absolutely. to make it successful. Absolutely. So, what may be the approximate ballpark numbers after the development? It depends. Again, like you know, uh, some of the studios are just trying to beat the other studio. So, like EA versus uh, you know 2K is uh, like always there. They always say that Madden will outsell this number and our next GTA will outsell uh, this game. So they invest as much as they are investing on the game development. And some of the game like you know, um, Bulletstorm, that was done in $28 million. And they spent $35 million on the marketing. So it's, sometimes it's insane. You know? it's, uh, and some games, they uh, ride.